Now to turn the laser guide line on, I press on at the top and then the projector will shine the projected box down and we see our laser guide line here. At the minute I've only got one line because my sub line is turned off. So you've got two different settings for the different lines. So if we go to main, these are all the options for this main line that we've got at the moment. And it's in red because I'm in the main section and I've got the red lines uh, selected. If I want to change the colour to green, instead all you do is just select a different colour. If I want to move the main line position, you can either move it forward or backwards, or you can move it side to side as well. So if you want to move it away from your needle position, all I do is just press the plus button, or the minus, depending which way you want to go. And that line is now moving further over to the right of my needle, because I'm sending it this way. So that line is now 7mm away from my stitch line. If I want to turn my sub line on, I go to sub and then turn the sub line on here. And I've got it set to green at the moment, so we'll see we've now got a green line running down the right hand side of our red line, which is the main one. And then your sub line position, you can adjust that individually, so that's separate from the main line. So that at the moment is set to be a quarter of an inch away from our main red line there. And if I want to increase that, I can do just by pressing the plus button. So that's now one centimetre away. If I want that to be back on the needle position here, the red line, I just go back to main and I decrease that down until it's back at zero. The zero setting is the same needle position as where you've got your stitch setting. So if I had my needle position to the left, the zero would be at the left. Whereas because I've got at the moment the needle position in the centre, the zero point is in the centre. So that's matching up with your needle position. If I just take the foot off there and drop the needle down, you can see that the needle is exactly on that line. As well as uh, the extra line that you can have for the sub, you can also have a grid line where it shows you a grid. You've still got your red stitch line there. And again, as with the uh, single sub line, you can increase the size of the grid. You've also got angles. And what you can now see here is a 90 degree angle and then your subline, which you could use as your seam allowance. So if you were doing this for patchwork and you were doing a quarter inch seam allowance, you could set your quarter inch and then when you're turning the corners of your work, you would be able to see that that would be your seam allowance and you've turned it at exactly 90 degrees. What you can also do is change the angles. You can have it at 90, at 60, so I've got a 60 degree angle here and we can see that we've got our quarter inch allowance on both sides there and then that would be our, the red line would be our stitch line and you can also have it at 45 degrees which is the same again just with a different angle